boy tear a hole in himself. Lace your boots and let him fly. Well, that guy's getting more hep every Cut day. Cut that rug, boy. Is that murder, Jack? Is that murder? Is that murder, Jack? Is that murder? What's the matter? Do you see that pathetic little character? We're trying to send him two finishes. All we want is a little donation. Anything you got will be greatly appreciated. Yeah, what are you saying, mister? A little donation. Let's go. Anything oh. you got. Any, any. What are you, a man or a mouse? Why don't you assert yourself? She's only a dame. They call that the better half. Better half, there's two of them. Okay, let them go. We'll get some money out of this yet. Let's go. Hiya, fellas. What are you doing? Giving the old gang the ice. You haven't been around in a long time. Yeah, how come the glad rag? Can a guy dress up once in a while? I bet you there's a girl mixed up in this. Once a girl gets you, you're cooked. Hey, where'd you get the potatoes? What potatoes? The potatoes that came in that sack. Uh, okay, boys, check out the cab. Come on, Sam, you're cooking now. Mr. Reagan. Danny, don't you and your friends know this is against the law? We're pleading ignorance to the law. I was only wetting my whistle. What are you trying to do, make a human bandbox out of him? Let that be a lesson here. Trouble with you, Mr. Reagan, is you don't appreciate art. And that was a trip to Corey and Masterpiece. Sure, it was a harmonica symphony. Yeah, right from the heart. Besides, all we got was three slugs and a bottle top. Oh, soliciting, too, breaking the law twice. Well, beat it or I'll run you all in. Well, if you put it that way, huh. we'll see you at the general hospital. There's no general. I think we better dust that new copper off. Ah, uh, he'll be all right once he gets used to it. Get your side man with him because your sister's soft on those brass buttons. My sister wouldn't like any copper. Not much. All dames are alike. Shut up. My you sister, me. Shut my up. sister went with a cop once. Your sister goes to the janitor. He ought to be here by now. There he is. Oh, Butch. Hiya, Mike. Hiya. We got some more easy dough for you, kid. Get in. Mike, you better drive. Okay. Hi, Bruce. Well, hello, Joe. Hey, what's the matter? You look a little pale under the gills. So would you if you had to take care of Hogan's baby. If it isn't measles, it's mumps. And if it isn't mumps, it's chicken pox. Well, that's what you get for wanting to be a Florence Nightingale. Oh, say, I have to mail this letter. Going my way? I'm always going your way. Keep your eyes open. But besides that, harmonica's probably suffering as much as you are. So if you'll lay down here on the concrete, I'm going to practice a little chiropractic. Just clean it off a little bit. Now open your eyes and close your mouth. Open your eyes and close your mouth. There you are. Didn't hurt me a bit. Good thing it wasn't a piano. Next time, tie a string to it. It won't be quite so antagonizing. Hey, fellas, get a load of these. Oh, real professional baseball suit. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. Oh. Like the Dodgers wear. Well, the Giants are better ones. Maybe if we had outfits like this, we could win a game once in a while. 
I wonder how many frog skins it would cost out for that thing. Oh, about a hundred bucks. Every time we get 30 cents saved up, we go and blow it on a show. Hey, you're an optimist. Not an optimist, a pacifist. An optimist looks at the good side. A pacifist looks at the bad side. What am I? You know, we've been talking about those uniforms so long and doing nothing about it. I'm exhausted. Well, at least we got good intentions. All right, break it up. Break it up. You know that young guy looks familiar. Any idea who he was? Well, I don't know his name, but my brother Danny does. Will Danny be home now? Should be. Let's find out. Hey, Mark, can I catch with a team this year? You couldn't catch flies. No, but I can wound them. Break your run. Well, I gotta go home, fellas. See you guys tomorrow. I gotta go too. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? I gotta go home and take my violin lesson. Look, what do you want to be? Joe DiMaggio or Yasha Heifetz? Heifetz? What team does he play with? Heifetz plays third base in the Philharmonic. Must be a new team. No, that's Joshua Mandel. It is not. Someday I'm gonna have an electric eye in putting there. It saves all that trouble pushing buttons up and down. Yeah. All right, fellas, we're calling this meeting order. Make what the take. Come on, all of it. Let's hear the jingle of that move. Every single piece of it. Well, it looks pretty good. Let's see, we'll take out these poker chips and these nails. They're getting kind of scarce now. A... And two buttons. Here, Glimpy, use those on your lip. See, we got 50, 75, 80, 83 cents. Now, you get three cents for sales tax, two cents for income tax, and a dime for protection. Who's going to protect me? Social Security will protect you. Meanwhile, I'm going to protect this money. That's the first installment on our new baseball uniforms. Yeah, that ain't so much. Are you questioning my integrity? Well, to turn professional, what do you think? Yeah, I'll be your guest soloist. Yeah. You guys can add this to the pot. Hey, five bucks! Nothing but chicken feed, fellas. Nothing but chicken feed. You must have a lot of chickens, kid. Where'd you just come from? In the closet. What were you doing in the closet? He's got secrets. How did you get in here? What's this, a third degree? I'm just a little inquisitive, that's all. Yeah, hey, man, that's your other root suit you've got. I like, like it, huh? Hey, yeah, maybe you got man. a job, huh? Sure I got a job. You sure it ain't a racket? What's well, any job with real dough but a racket? You know the rules of the club, Hank. We don't take no dirty money. What do you mean, dirty? It's as clean as my Sunday towel. Look, if you guys don't want my dough, forget about it. Keep on scratching for those pennies. As for me, sure I got a racket. And as for that ball club, you guys better start looking for a new shortstop. Hey, wait a minute, Hank. Maybe you got us wrong, huh? Uh, let him go. He'll be back as soon as he hatches that scratch. That's what you think. I ain't ever coming back. You guys just keep your eye on me, that's all. I'm gonna be a big shot. I'll get treasures full of guys that are gonna be big shots. Ah. Uh, just for the we'll buy Joe DiMaggio. Oh, hey, 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 Get out against Finnegan. I expected you back, but not running. I gotta hide in here, fellas. From who? Breaking a copper. Over. Come in. Hey, put away those things. Who's there? Get out of this. Come on, open up. All right, wait about three shakes of a night stick, and I'll call my butler. Hey, Glippy. Yeah? Open the door. Well, I'll put my apron on. Hey, fellas, I got any of Yeah, you got plenty of them. Very dainty. Well, where's that kid that came in here? What kid? Captain Regan, how are you? Now, one of these days you're gonna get a promotion for arresting juvenile children. Yeah, poor squirrel, no. All right, come on, where is he? Where's the Palm Springs for his help? Yeah, well, maybe I know a better place for the cure. What's his name? Aloysius. That's his maiden name. Are you gonna tell me where he is? Sure, he went right out through that window, Mr. Regan. According to the tone of his look, I don't think Officer Regan believes us. Honest, mister, we go to Sunday school every day. Look, Danny, your sister tells me you do go to Sunday school. Maybe you'll tell the truth. Did he go out that window? Honest, he flew out the window just like an angel. Shut up. Well? Yeah, that's right. He did. Don't forget to call the sergeant and tell him about your good deed. Don't get hit by a parked car. Hey, Scruno, give that both a little jolt. You can come on, Hank. Boy, I thought I was a goner there for a minute. Gee, Danny. Well, I thank you a lot for lying for me. I didn't lie for you. You've gone out that window just like we have, lots of times. So, 
You was going to be a big racketeer, and easy come or easy go. Well, that was the quickest career I ever seen. Oh, I ain't done nothing. Just working for a couple of guys. I tell you what, I'll split my bankroll with you. No, you don't. That money's still dirty. Take it back where you got it. Maybe a little less. Get away now, fracture your wrist. Yeah. Fellas, I make a move that we suspend this member from the gang until he squares himself. Who's going to second it? Can I make a third? Okay, the motion is moved and thirded. Hank is suspended from this club infinitely. All in favor, say yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Hey, Clippy, send me a cap a minute. Bloody, you a radical. Bloody, okay, you yes, yes, yes. You're disqualified. You better go, Hank. So I get the brush off, huh? A fine bunch of pals you guys turned out to be. Don't come back with any more cops on your tail. Don't worry, this time I'm never coming back. Come on, son. Hey, what is this, a real pinch? Yeah, I take the rest of you along, too, except I just heard you clear yourselves while I was listening through the door. He didn't do nothing serious. No? Well, there's two witnesses says you're wrong, your sister and me. Come on. Ah, it's a frame-up. I'll be out in 24 hours. Hey, Hank, you want me to hold your money? There you go. Oh, you baby murderer! Put that back on before your brain cools off. Hello, Danny. I guess you better have a little talk with your sister. Yeah, we're gonna help Hank. I don't know. She's got some mighty definite ideas about telling the truth. Hey, well, maybe she could take a vacation or something. Get sick. You could send her over to Brooklyn for a few days. Let's kick her teeth out. Not a squeal out of it, kid, even after they just nicked her for three years. If we don't get some food up here, we won't last three hours. That was the most half-baked, undernourished jury I ever seen. Hank You're wasn't kidding. guilty. But they proved he was right there. You mean your sister did? Regan testified too, didn't he? Yeah, sister's the one that sent them up. Nobody ever believes cops, they're prejudiced. Sure, she finds state evidence. You can't blame it all on her. Hello, boys. Hello. Oh, too bad about Hank, wasn't it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Too bad about you, too. Yeah. Huh, it's all your fault. Danny. Danny. What do you want? Do the boys really think I wanted to testify against Hank? Uh, they think you were more anxious to help that copper Regan than us. Hey, that's nonsense. Can't you make them understand? <laughs> they wouldn't listen to me. They're pretty mad. Then I'll talk to them myself. Oh, no, you don't. You know we don't allow girls in our club. Well, then I want you to bring them up to the apartment so I can talk to them. A uh, fat chance of that. Well, I guess the heat's off now. I'll go out and hustle up some chow. Hey, what's up? Hey, she ain't bad. Hey, wait a minute. She's a nurse, a lady of mercy. Maybe she'll give us a handout. There you go. Falling for a skirt. Yeah, she's got class, too. Well, stick around. I'll be back in a flash with some hash. Pretty good, huh? I know. Tell them I've got a cake. The kind I baked for Muggs on his birthday. If I know their stomachs, they can't resist. Well, I'll see what I can do. to see. You. You're a nurse, ain't you? Yes. Well, I'm your neighbor from across the street. I've seen you around a lot of times. Well, that's strange. I don't remember seeing you. Oh, I work mostly nights. Gee, you're pretty. I'm sorry I can't say the same for you. Ah, you would if you could. My name is Miss Stevens. Just what is it you want? Well, my name is Blitz. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. I got a favor to ask of you. What is it? Say, you're fixed up nice and cozy here. 
cake. Did you bake this yourself? Yes, I did. Boy, oh boy. Anything I like is a nice homemade cake. Well, I bake that especially for my brother and his friends. They're having a party. Now, now, is that neighborhood neat like? Be a nice girl. Wait, just make believe I'm your neighborhood. Mmm. You all right? Hey, what kind of guy gets this? I thought that cake was for me. Who invited him to the party, sis? This is our new neighbor, Mr. Blake. You're a good neighbor, Mr. Blake. I just come over to get better acquainted. Neighborhood lead like, you know. This is my brother Danny and his friends. Hi, Danny. Hi, fellas. What's the matter with you? Didn't you have no breakfast? What a yeah, terrible yeah, yeah, idea. Yeah. This guy eats like Hitler was in Brooklyn. Mm, don't mention that name with me. You're a fine neighbor. Why don't you take your head off and scram? No, is that nice? You should have better manners. After all, Mr. Blake, I did bake the cake for the boys. No, I guess you did. Well, that's all I do with it. Here. There's enough money to buy a dozen cakes. Now take it and get out. He doesn't take no money from a big hook like you until after we pin his ears back. Is that so? Why, well, for two cents, I'll take a watch oh, time no, on it. Mr. Blake, he didn't mean anything by it. I was just scared him. You were scared, weren't you, kid? Yeah, I was scared. Look, my hair is turning gray. Yeah, Snow White. Snow White, I'm very fine. This is wonderful. But I like it with more icicles. You mean icing? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll get you some more. Oh, yeah? Won't we, Mug? Yeah. We'll get him some more icing. Don't forget the crumbs. Okay. Crumbs? Does he mean me? And what's icing, huh? Hey, that's soap. No recipe. Ah, don't be a hog. Go away. Watch Mr. Blake, your icicles. 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 This is more like a what kind of hostess are you, Danny? Get the gentleman a chair. Oh, I should have thought of that. Get him a whole chasey lunge. Here, Mr. Blake, sit down. Sit down and take it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This car service I like. Sit right there. We'll fix you all up. We don't want you to get that shirt any dirtier than it is. Hey, this is swell. Wonderful case. Hey, what's in the pot? Coffee or tea? Tea. Okay, I'll have some. What do you have? Ten lumps of sugar or twenty? Oh, just six. This is wonderful. May I have the rest of tea? Yeah, I'll give it to you sometime. No, no. That's too strong. Then I'll weaken it. Thank you. See, you'll weaken it. So will weaken it. Why? The guy's going mad. He's pulling me from the mouth. No. Go away. Hey, Ruth, you got any alum? Alum? What for? I'm going to fix that monkey good. Just a little bit. Gee, thanks. I like it because I got a delicate stomach. Here, you like cake, don't you? Yeah! Hey, Cliff, you don't want to eat that. Sure I do. You know What's you the matter with it? Let him eat it. No, no. It's too sweet for his complexion. Let him eat that. Tell him it's good enough for me, it's good enough for him. Thanks. Let him eat it. Have a little more tea. It's nice and warm. Tastes funny. Tastes funny. That's a special importation. You got to take a lot of it to get the full flavor. That's better. What are you puckering up for? Nobody's going to kiss you. 
Where's the sub -tide? Well, you better go now. I think you got a date with a stomach pump. Who's she? Oh, she's a nice girl. Got a lot of pull. Oh, very nice girl. Yeah. Very nice. Everything will be okay. Hey, Mr. 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 Hey, what happened to you? Hey, don't even off. Oh, you give me a minute. Hey, don't even off. Hey, don't even off. Hey, don't even off. Hey, don't even off. Hey, his name? He knows his name. His name is Hank. Hank? Hank who? Hank Jacobson, Hank Murphy, Hank Greenberg. I know Hank Greenberg. Oh, you do? How do we know? It might be Hank and Chip. All we know is that he's a kid that didn't do it. Well, that's what they all say when they come up here. What's his last name? Uh, I think yeah. it's Smith. Smith. No, that's his alias. That ain't hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Salco. 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 That's it. That's it. That's Henry Salco. Salco. Oh, Salco. Henry Salco. Yeah, Henry oh. Salco. I think I can arrange for you boys to see Henry. Good. Very nice. Uh, what do you got in these packages here? That's our lunch. Yeah. Here. You want some coffee, Molly? Well, you better leave that stuff here. I'll arrange so to turn you over the turnkey. What's the matter? Didn't you eat yet? Yeah, never mind. Go ahead. Now, let me get back. Okay. What do you think you're going to turn us over to? The turnkey. The turnkey. Turn you over. Hey, wait a minute. Let me out. Let's go. Let's go. I hope Hank's okay. I hope he was treating him nice up here. I caught you. I'm back to get my hat, Warden. Sorry, you won't find no sugar there, but I lost my racing card. Besides, you guys that come and see me like this, did you bring me any presents? Oh, yeah. Well, we bought you a lot of presents, but that donkey out in the office took them away from us. Eh, uh, they don't trust us. One of the guys thought I had a hacksaw hidden in my nose. It's big enough. Gee, it's swell you guys that come over and see me like this, even after what I've done. How are they treating you, Hank? Oh, all right, I guess. But it ain't no picnic, believe me. At least there ain't no females around here, or is there? Say, Hank, you know, I got another baby brother since you've been gone. Hey, how many does that make? Well, that makes about 12. Ten. Eight. Hey, you remember Fosberg, the delicatessen man? Yeah. He got ulcers in the stomach from eating his own bologna. Was it bad? <laughs> they were so bad, they had to take a stomach out and make a miniature golf course out of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell them about your dog. Yeah. You know that yeah. great day night guy? You mean a big blow Yeah. He had 43 pups. 43 pups? Yeah, and there was all twins, too. How do you like that? Exactly. Hey, you know that guy Joe owns a hardware store? Yeah. They find him. Why? They caught him peddling hot stoves. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Time for all visitors to leave. Come on now. Oh, oh, Smart, Alex, again. Maybe I ought to go out there and pop him down, huh? While you're out there, get something for this finger, will you? It really hurts. Oh, I'll take a chance. I'll go to Joe's over something. You better do a better job of it than you did when you went for that chow. Okay, okay. Stop squawking. Hold your steam. Can't you never learn to place them? There's seven and a half billion square feet of good, clean streets in New York, and you have to hit a dirty old window. Look, all I do is hit the ball. How do I know where it's going to go? So you were throwing your spitballs again, huh? Oh, can I help it if I'm good? Oh, you're getting to be a genius. I'm going to nickname you Orson Glimpy. Yeah, Orson Glimpy. <laughs> well, I wasn't so tired. Uh, I don't know who's going to get that ball, but I'm hey, happy. Hey, what's one of your kids heave this thing? So it's you again, It huh? was an accident, Mr. Honest. Sure, a foul. Foul? Don't give me that I fight talk. Hey, wait a minute. Give out with the ball. It ain't yours. Go on, go away, brother. It's mine now. You better let him get away with that? Sure, go and ask him nicely for it. He might give it to you. He's an intelligent-looking man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Blake, why don't you be a nice guy? Give me the ball back, will you? Away. You're bothering me. Come on, give me the ball back, will you? We need it to finish the game. I'm out of here. You want to make me conspicuous? What do you want it for? Come on, we need it. You can't Let's use it. Hey, Is that gay or not? No. No? No? No. Come on, give me the ball. Now, don't he look natural? 
Mr. Regan, this man's a crook. I'll say he is. Come on, Broccoli, get on your feet. Broccoli? His name's Blake. Yeah, that's one of his aliases. Come on, get up. What's happened? We've been looking for this guy for months. It's a $200 reward out for his capture. $200? Yeah, $200. Come on. What is it? A five-pound you turn out to be. I'll be seeing you. That stumble don't look like he's waiting on $200. I know that. I know that. We'll be late. You're not even dressed. Hey, sis, which one of these uniforms do you think looks best? Now, how should I know? Now, I want you to hurry. What's the trouble with you women? You don't appreciate real art. Look, I want you to wear that new suit I bought you for Christmas, not those old rags you have on. No, I've been doing. I'm no Casanova. Now, look here, Danny. For once in your life, would you try to look decent and respectable? Just for me? Oh, uh, all right. Top of the morning to you, me darling. Good morning, Joe. You all set? Well, just about. Danny's still dressing. We'll be ready in just a minute. Okay. Well, if it ain't handsome, Harry. Since when are you working this beat? I suppose I'll have to get to be a captain before I get any respect out of you kids. Oh, it's respect you want. Shh. He's going to be a captain someday. Yeah, but someday ain't today. I said he's going to be a captain. Captain of what, a baseball team? Do my eyes deceive me. Good morning, Mr. Regan. Morning, Danny. Who is this chap? I've never seen him before. The feet look familiar. Boy, you sure is scrumptious in that suit. Where'd you get flat rags? Well, what's the matter with these clothes? You better take them off, because I'll do back in Macy's window in five minutes. Cut it out, will you, fellas? Okay, Ruth. Are you ready now? Mm. Let's go. All right, boys, break it up. We're going to the party, too, ain't we? Yeah, yeah we're going to the party. They're going to get married. Come on, everybody. Danny, you have not only displayed bravery in making possible the apprehension of Dutch broccoli, but a spirit of fine citizenship. Certainly, you acted without knowledge or desire for monetary reward. You are to be commended. Say, what's this monetary jive? I don't know. I think it's a place where they keep dead people. Yeah? And so, Danny, it is my pleasure to present to you this $200 reward. You have certainly earned it. Thank you, sir. Oh, cut it out, Sif. I'm very proud of my brother, Captain. You have every right to be, Miss Stevens. Might be smart, Danny, to give that to your sister to take care of. No, I can take care of it all right. Thanks a lot. Oh, say there, Daniel, as treasurer of this club, I uh, think maybe I should take care of that for you. No, I'm going to take care of it. What do you mean? Come on, grease my palm. Danny just wants to feel it in his pocket. Yeah, he also got a hold in Daniel's pocket, though. Not in this suit. Uh, I guess he never heard about money being the root of all evil. Listen, Danny, as treasurer of this club, I'm only looking out for your own interest. You haven't even counted that Mazuma. Sure, we just want to make sure that full captain and short change you. Well, don't worry about it, fellas. I told you, I'm going to take care of it all right. Listen, I've been doing a little mathematical calculating, and I figured the boys is entitled to six-sevenths of the net capital. Yeah? Well, I know if you get your mitts on it, you'll go through it like water. That's why I'm holding on to it until I'm ready to spend it. We don't want to get rough or nothing, Danny. But we know the club's entitled our share of that dough, and we're not going to take no double crossing. Look, if you're not nice, we'll take it away. Come on, break it up. He doesn't have to give you anything. It's his money, now get out of here before I lock you up. Please, Joe, don't hurt him. The only thing he ever hurt was his mother's feelings. I don't think they meant anything wrong. Muggs and the gang don't know what I have on my mind, and I'm not telling them. Not yet, anyway. He says, I think I found what we want, just like the Yankees. Danny, are you sure you don't want to put the money away toward your education? Oh, maybe I would if it was all mine, but it's not. But of course it is. No. Bugs and the rest got their interest in it, too. Have it your own way. Good night. Hey, sis. Yes? The fellas sure got sore when they thought I was keeping that dough for keeps. I suppose so, but I certainly don't see why. The money was given to you. I guess a girl just can't understand things right, like a fella. Come here, booze, Glenn. Yes, you're getting weak. Well, I ain't getting any younger. Hey, you sure this is the right fire skate? Sure, I'm sure. Well, come on. Yeah, I hope this thing is leading to heaven and not the other place. What are you worried about? You've got no friends there anyway. Say, 
Hey, Mom, are you sure we're doing it right? We took a boat, didn't we? Six cents of that dough belongs to us. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Well, how much is six cents of 200 folding money? Six cents of 200? Six cents of 200, yes, sir. You can't do those things, man. You gotta have an adding machine. I'll mentalize it. You take the one in apples, right? You cut them in half, you got 400. Better use oranges. I don't like apples. I can't cut oranges. They squirt my eyes. I got it. We take the 200 bucks and change it into pennies. Oh, what a talented individual. What are you doing in here, Mugs? Give you three guesses. I'd only give them one. So we figure we got six sixes of that dough coming to us. Six sevens. So you think I'm holding out on you? We got a supposition to settle with you. You're going to shell out nice and easy? We're going to have to take it by force. Listen, by all rights, that dough belongs to me. I got a left that says it belongs to all of us. And after uh, all we've done for you. Then you ever hear a community property, chum? Come on, search the room. Yeah. So you're going to get smart about it. Get out of here. Put your nigga on a dirty pillow. Pillows hold Hey, where are all these pillows from? Let me get them. 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 Let how much is six sevenths of this? Twenty-eight dollars and fifty-nine cents. How much is one seventh of it? You figure it out, wise guy. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll marry yours. Yeah, special delivery. Let's go, fellas. Okay. You sure disappointed me, Danny. I never expected you to be so magnanimous. Go on, get out of here. Hurry up. Money. Yeah, but it's all right. I don't care. Why didn't you tell them what you were planning to do with it? No, I'll tell them nothing. Those guys are so smart they can have the dough. Do you mean you're not going to do anything about it? No, I'm through with those guys. Go on to bed, sis. Forget about it. It'll be all right. It's okay. Well, it's a good thing you're not, because you're staying right here till you produce that money. Hold my glass. In that case, we better set up light housekeeping. Try to bring my coat for. I should have brought my pajamas and perfume in this place. Smell. Boy, these mosquitoes don't bite you. They kick you. You got a flit gun you could loan us? Maybe they just let the bugs run wild. Where's the shower around here? You know I always take a shower before I go to bed? Yeah, we'll be sure and have a good time. But you're not going to be laughing tomorrow. I'm going to see that Danny and his sister file a robbery complaint against you, bunch of half-baked delinquents. But look here, Mr. Regan, can't we adjudicate this matter? You tell that to the judge. By the way, what time do you serve breakfast? I got a delicate stomach. Make it in 40 days, because I got to catch up on my beauty sleep. All right, my fellas, this sure is just quiet. Don't worry about a thing. Those coppers can't put the finger on us. I don't know about the finger, but they sure got the bars on us. Well, that's the guy Danny's sister's going to marry, huh? Save some folk right. Just three of a kind, all eating off the same piece of cheese. Rats, that's all. Look here, maybe we was all presumptuous then, and, and, and trying to get our six six. Look, Scrooge, with me, it's a matter of principle. We got the dough, and we're sitting tight. That's right. We're tight here in jail. Well, that's just a mere little technicality that has to be overcome. Yeah, how are we going to do that? Hey, Clippy, how about a few courses from Mendelssohn about the second moment? That reminds me of my mother. How's she on a fast crack? Oh. Hey, look at the size of this butt. This fella either had a lot of money or a lot of TV. Ha! I think I'll take off my jacket. All right, old Friday, bring them into the captain's office. Hey, make up my bet and change one on his floor. Well, what do we eat breakfast? I've just been working up a carnivorous appetite. Yeah, just give me some fresh air. 
I'll be satisfied. I told you, fellas, I'd get you out. They must have heard about my political influence. Hey, what's kind of vile lumbago? Run, don't walk to the nearest station. Good morning, Captain. Oh, good morning, Miss Stevens. Hello, Danny. Morning. Officer Regan phoned that you wanted us to come here right away. Yes, he had your brother's friends locked up all night. What? That's terrible. We shouldn't have done that. I should say not. Oh, there's no harm done. They may teach those scallywags a lesson and nothing else. Well, they'll blame me. Oh, sis, why'd you have to stick your two cents in anyway? Morning, Ruth. Hello, Danny. You shouldn't have arrested the boys, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruth, but those kids are a bad lot. Somebody's got to clamp down on them. Hey, Muggs, I didn't have anything to do with this. Honest. Uh, uh, uh. Now, what to your Aunt Minnie? Uh, even she wouldn't listen to him. All right, that'll do. Stand over here. I didn't ask you to pinch these guys. After all, Danny, these boys appear to have broken the law. As a police officer, Regan only did his duty. I was the one who asked Officer Regan to take a hand. He sure didn't waste no time. It wasn't Danny, really. Well, it wasn't his shadow. Please, can we go in the truck? Because my man will be wondering where her little black crow is. Perhaps Miss Stevens and her brother will forget this unfortunate incident if you boys are ready to make restitution. I don't need no rest. And if restitution is what I think it is, I can't make it. Oh, no, what I mean is return the money to Danny that took from him. Well, you should do it as a matter of principle. The only principle I know is that he gets one seven. That's right. They got some rights to the money. Well, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Well, I've changed my mind. What Danny really intended to do with the money was... I've changed my mind, that's all. Ruth, these kids broke into the house and took the money by force. That's enough to send them to the reform school where they belong. Now, if you and Danny will sign a complaint, we'll put them there. What do you say, Miss Stevens? It's up to Danny. I'm not signing anything. I guess you've done all you can, Regan. All right, boys, you can go now. Yes, they're not agreeing with Miss Carriage of Justice. Sure got a nice hotel here. Such intimate guests. Hey, Muggs. Maybe if I told you what I was going to do with that... You ain't going to tell me nothing. I'm still the treasurer of this club, and you're out. O-U-T. And he does mean you. Go oh, on, Canary. Fly back to your cage. We should have taken him for a ride a long time ago. Yeah, a one-way ride. <laughs> well, he's ostracized from the gang, and it's all of us, too. We ain't taking him for no ride under no circumstances. Lucky thing there's only five of us, because our limousine only holds five. We ain't got no room for a chump whose head is getting so big he can't see his own feet. Listen, you lame brains. I told you what would happen if you got your hands on that dope. You went and blew it in on a junk heap I wouldn't even be seen riding in. What were you going to do with the money? Buy a torso for your sister so she could marry that blowhard copper? What gave you that idea? I said, what gave you that bright idea? A little boy told it to us. Yeah, well, I know five little birds that'd get their wings clipped if I had my way. If you had your way in every reform school on every corner with sweatshops for bedroom. Yeah, I'd sweat some of the meanness out of you, brat. You must lead a lot of limits to get that disposition. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised at you, Joe. Yeah, I suppose I shouldn't let them get my goat, but they're a bad lot, Ruth. That's not true. You just don't understand them. Oh, what do you mean? I was a kid myself once. Of course. The backyard to play in, spending money in your pocket, new suit for Sunday, and a church just around the corner. These boys never had those advantages, Joe. Most of them never even had a new pair of shoes in their lives. The only playground they know is the street. They've had to fight for every inch of elbow room. Sure, they're tough, but not half as tough as they appear. I want you to believe that, Joe. Well, I'd like to, Ruth, but seeing is believing, and I've been patrolling this beat for three months now. You can give the kids a break until you know them better, will you? Where are you going, to the hospital? Mm hmm Come on, I'll walk you away. Right. You all recollect, Danny always did say we'd never buy uniforms for our team. Yeah, we should have bought the uniforms instead of buying that cheap with nine-day trembles. Will you shut up about that deal? That's all over and done with. You was the one that wanted to cut. You was the one that told me to put down a down payment. You was you the one that power? made me sign the paper. And you keep complaining about it. Besides, you can't do nothing with uniforms. You can wear them, that's all. In a car, you can go places, see people, do a lot of things. All you have to do is get some tires. So what with you, sugar? I want to go out west. I need a trip. Yeah, man, hanging around here ain't no fun no more. Yeah, this neighborhood's kind of changed, ain't it? Sure, with Hank and Gail and Danny out of gang, what do I got to live for? If you would stop dripping from the lip, just momentarily we would take a trip. But I can't think of trips when you keep interrupting my conservation. 
Oh, you pick on me because you're wrong with me. We talking about going out west, do you mean California? Yeah, would I like California? Would I like that California sunshine? I bet you I could get tan like you. Like me? Well, you could stand a little color there, Glimpy. I ain't kidding either. Well, all right. I got so. I got 72 cents. We leave in the morning. For California? Ah, California's too far. Maybe Los Angeles or Hollywood. I don't like to disillusion you at your age, Glimpy. But Hollywood is in Los Angeles. And Los Angeles is in California, period. Yeah, Flower ain't gonna like that. Get over as long as I live. After two years, the Cherry Street Baseball Club finally gets up enough noise to challenge us, and we ain't got no chance. Yeah, we had to hang Danny with us, so we'd have a full team. Maybe we should change more basketball teams. Ooh, maybe you're right. Why? Why? That's an easy game. Hey, Hank! Hiya, fellas. Oh, yeah. Get a chair going, and I can just corner. Why don't you get back? Uh, you know, it gets kind of lonesome up in that jail. But sorry to take a little vacation. What are you getting at? Yeah, what are you getting at? Dummy up, will you, fellas? Dummy up. You ain't kids no more. I broke out of jail. He ain't got a legal job. Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy. Take it easy. Butch Broccoli did the breaking out. I just went along for the ride. I told you not to tangle with that phone. Two years you would have been patrolled. Parole, parole. Watch out, you wind up in jail. Well, thank you. Listen, any one of you guys would have done the same if you'd been up in that jail for a month like I was. I took the only way out, even if it was with Butch Broccoli. And I made it clear, too. Yeah, you made it clear. We're back to the clubhouse, and you thought we'd hide you out and give you a little protection, huh? Yeah, well, we ain't gonna do it, see? Who's asking for protection? What's gluing your feet to the floor there? Ah, oh, leave him alone, will you? Look, you guys wanna know why I really came back here, I'll tell you. Butch and his pal broke out, too, and they're gunning for Danny. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Butch says he's gonna rub Danny out for stooling on him. Well, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, I'm telling you now. Now, the best thing for you guys to do is to grab hold of Danny and put him on the wrap so Butch Broccoli can't find him. Maybe I was a little impulsive, see? You better hide out here until this thing blows over. We'll yeah, take care yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Thanks a lot anyway, fellas, but uh, if I got caught here, get you guys in trouble. I can take care of myself. I'll get hold of Danny. I'm thinking Danny don't want no bother out of us after all we've done to him. Scruno could be right at that. We're Danny's pals, aren't we? And he's yeah. our pal. Well, we're seeing him through this, see? And we're gonna take care of that butch broccoli. Come on, mister. Stop picking on me all the time, wise guy. All right, kid, you're coming with me. What for? You know what for. The boss wants to see you. Come on. Where's Danny? Yeah, we want to see him. I thought you boys weren't speaking to Danny. He said we are speaking to him. This is important business. About something that might happen. Shut up. Is he here or isn't he? No, I sent him to the store. Is there any trouble? No, but there might be. Come on, fellas, let's find him. Now where are we going to look? Uh, I don't know. Well, let's try Fosberg's delicatessen. Hey, maybe Danny went away like we was going to do. Maybe Butch picked him up already. You know anything else cheerful? Let's look in a pool room. You don't play pool. Well, he's got to be somewhere. Let's try anyhow. You heard from Danny yet? No, I haven't, and I'm due at the hospital. The boys had me worried. What's this all about? Tell him, Muggs. Remember Butch Broccoli? Yes. Well, he busted out of jail, and he's looking for Danny. He's going to get even with him for squealing on him. And that's why we got to find him. Well, I'll call the police. Nick on that. Hank gave us the tip, and we don't want to get him in any trouble. Yes, just a moment. It's for you. It sounds like Hank. Hello. Hello, Muggs. Hank. Mike just grabbed Danny. He's taking him over to the old poultry warehouse on Clancy Street. Yeah. Don't ask questions. Hurry up. They got Danny. They got him down to that old poultry warehouse. And yeah. Pete used to run. Come on, let's get out there then. Get in there. Remember me? I picked him up easy as spit. Anybody see you? No, no one that matters. 
What's the matter, kid? You scared? I'm not afraid of you or anybody like you. Gee, you're brave. Your sister ought to be proud of a kid like you. By the way, how is your sister? It's none of your business. Why, you're fresh and smart, Alec. I got a mind to take care of pushing me. You got any of that reward money on you? If I did have, you wouldn't get it. Oh, no? Well, we'll find out. Mike, take care of him. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey, what's that for? Don't you know it's a fall of kids keep on his down? Now do it right. Doors locked. Let's go around the back. Come on. Oh, I can't listen to this. I'm two in your I'll tear them limb from limb. Save a few pieces for us, will you? Let's don't stick together. Hey, Squirrel. Yeah. Take a look down that corner. <coughs> hey, we skinny out there. Now, what gives, Squirrel? No. Nothing down here, but here's the Kansas and Bill. How about you, Skinny? Nothing over here, either. Hey, where's Clippy? Yeah, where is Clippy? Yeah, where'd he go? Hey. Hey, Glyph. Glyph! I wonder where he went. He went Always playing games. Get down off there. What are you waiting for? Get him down, quick. Diagnosis. This is Danny's sister, Doc. Oh, I see. Well, there isn't very much we can do for him. You mean he's going to kick in? He's in a very serious condition. You see, these x-rays show that fractures and contusion require a very delicate operation by a brain specialist. Dr. Ormsby, for instance? I know of no one who would be more qualified. Well, let's get him. He's, he's terribly expensive. Well, we'll take care of that. Come on, let's get him on the phone. Get Dr. Ormsby's office, please. I wouldn't worry about this, fellas. Lots of doctors are wrong in their diagnoses. Sure, sure. They're not always right, you know. They make mistakes, too. Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Ormsby's office. I'm sorry, he's not in. Oh, he's at home. He's leaving town this afternoon. Oh, I see. Thank you. Well, what's the matter? Won't you do it? Leaving town this afternoon. He can't do that. They'll say, can't we get him back yet? We have to operate on him. Girl, we're on so much money, you can't turn us down. Hey, I hope this guy's here. Yeah, he must be here. Nobody'd leave a nice place like this. You Dr. Orsley? No, I'm not. Have you an appointment with the doctor? Well, not exactly, but we just got to see him. I'm Dr. Ornsby. What can I do for you, boy? Why don't you do a little operating on a pile of because if you don't, he's going to croak. Well, I'm sorry, young man. I just had my bags downstairs. I'm leaving in five minutes for Cleveland to address the convention there. You can't run out on us. No, sir. We're here on business. Cash on the head. Well, I'd like to help you boys out, but I'm afraid it's utterly impossible. This is one case you can't afford to turn down. We'll give you the most money you ever got in your life for one job. Thirty-six bucks. Money's no object. Yeah, and we'll throw in 60 cents for good measure. Well, now, that's very interesting. But it so happens my minimum fee is $1,000. There ain't that much money in the world. A grand a throw. Are you kidding, Doc? No. Well, maybe we can make a little deal. We got a bus downstairs, ain't much to look at, and the motor's a little broken down. But we'll throw that in, too. Oh, you gotta do it, Doc. You're the only one who can save Danny. Yeah, that's what they told us down at the hospital. Who told you such a thing? The guy who takes the pictures. Uh, this friend of yours, uh, how did he get hurt? Was he, uh... 
mixed up in some robbery? Oh, hey. smack in the eye. Now, wait a minute, please. Holy Clement. Look, Danny don't pull no funny business. The rest of us fellas in the gang, we ain't got no angel wings, and maybe Danny ain't neither. He wouldn't snatch a nickel out of a blind man's cup. He even says his prayers at night. Just to his sister. Lenny, how he knocked over a hot mug. He knocked over a what? You know, turns a slippery gink over to the coppers. I don't quite follow. Don't you understand English? Well, not that kind. Look, it was a crook. So the cops was looking for him. So Danny captured him. Oh, I see. Then he gave him a $200 reward. And we figured that... Hey, you're there. off in a blind alley. Yeah, that's right. Well, anyhow, they send this crook up for a long stretch, see? But he busts out of jail and he comes on a prowl for Danny. Danny's only a kid. You don't have no chance against those big monsters. You want to see what they've done to him, Doc? He almost murdered him. They beat him all over the place. Danny ain't got much of a chance to live, Doc. He ain't got no chance at all unless you come and help him. Oh, how about it, Doc? Please. Sit down, boys. Relax. Operator, this is Dr. Ormsby. Get me to the Bowery Receiving Hospital right away, will you? Medical excavation generally takes. Depends on how bad you're hurt. He's hurt bad. If that doctor don't pull him through, he's going to be hurt a lot better. Hey, how long has it been since you kids had anything to eat? Ah, who's hungry? Hiya! Get out of here. Oh, nurse? Do you know how long they're going to be in the operating room? Well, I'm sure I don't know. Well, how long are you going to be tied up? Well, that depends. Why? Well, I thought uh, maybe you'd like to operate on me, huh? Oh, I'd be delighted. Which would you prefer to have cut out, your duodenum or your sacroiliac? Well, I've already had my tires and sugar cut out, and I thought maybe you'd like to cut my heart out. I think your heart still belongs to your mama. <laughs> oh, don't drink that. It's a sedative. Oh, nothing could put me to sleep with you around. It's a nice time to be flirting with girls. You ought to get a mechanic to operate on your brain. Oh, can I help it if I look like Valentino? Hey, Ruth, they didn't croak him, did they? No, Muggs, he's still alive. How'd it go, Ruth? Well, Dr. Ormsby's given him his one chance. Boys, you might as well go home. There's nothing any of us can do now except wait and pray a little. Okay. Go, fellas. Somebody take that hat and sweater. Now, listen, fellas. I guess I've been pretty much of a sourpuss up to now. Will you try and forget it? Yeah, uh, sure. No hard feelings. Gee, Mr. Regan, I always knew you were a right guy, except for your disposition. Do you understand what he's talking about? About a misunderstanding he had with his friends. 
Are those boys still here? No, I sent them away. I suspect your brother is suffering from more than one kind of wound. He isn't rallying as I'd hoped. you don't like him anymore, so if there's anything he could do to ease his mind about it. Danny thinks we don't like him anymore. Why, we were just going up to see him right now. Wasn't we, fellas? Well, one thing more. He never wanted you to know it, but that money he was holding out, he was going to use that to buy uniforms for your baseball team. Uniforms? Oh, uniforms, sure, sure. We knew that all the time. Any difference to you? Does it make any difference? Sure, it makes a difference, Danny. What you have to do now is get well so you can come back and get even with us fellas for acting like such a bunch of dummies. I was the only dummy, Max. Ah, it wasn't you. You won't argue about that now. Main thing is that he ain't holding nothing against us and that you'll come back to the club. That'd be swell if the fellas want me. Sure, they want you, Danny. They need you bad. Things ain't been the same since you left. Look, Hank's coming to see you. Hello, Danny. Hey, Hank. Good old Hank. We missed you. Man, you gotta get well soon. Don't get the old baseball team together. Remember those hot games you used to have? Yeah. Hey, you remember that game on July 4th when he saved sure. us? He won the game. It sure did. Sorry, did. boys, but you visited long enough. Yes, sir. So long, Danny. Get better, kids. We'll, we'll be, be waiting Danny. Danny. We'll be back in the real quick. Danny. And we'll bring you a lot of stuff. We'll bring you flowers and candy and everything. Pretty bad, huh? We're gonna take off over Niagara Falls. Hey, Mr. Regan, what are you doing here? Sorry, son, I gotta take him. But he was only here to see Danny. Forget it, fellas. I understand. But couldn't you give me a break just until we find out how Danny makes out just for tonight? Sure, he won't run away. I'll stick around, no kidding. Yeah, you know, and his own recognition. We'll take good care of him, honest we will. Okay. It's on my own neck, but I'll take a chance with it. Thanks. See, he sure wouldn't come down off his high perch, can he? He'll get by enough flack of blackbirds. He's not as bad as he looks. Hey, here's the doc. How's he doing, doc? Well, he's sleeping now, but I think he's going to be all right. You all know, I believe this business of praying pays dividends. How about the doc here? He had something to do with it. Oh, you really so think he's going to beat the rap, huh, doc? Yes, he's taking a new lease on life after talking to you boys. That's swell, doc. Thanks for everything. That's all right. Oh, uh, boys. About that, uh, money. What money? 
money, sure. We got the money. We sold off Flipper. We got 96 bucks. No, I want you boys to keep it. I've been paid in a different sort of a way. Oh, we couldn't do that, Doc. We wouldn't know how to do it so much dough. Uh, I'll tell you. Maybe you can use it to buy some baseball uniforms. Uniform, yeah. Hey, we forgot all about the uniform. Of course you did. Yeah, with Hank and Danny. What a team. We well, can find the best uniform you said. It. Thanks a lot, Doc. Oh, hey, you think you off my stomach? You get some sleep now. Danny will be all right, I'm sure. Thanks for being so nice to the other boys, too. Oh, they're not such a bad bunch. That's what I've been trying to tell you. You just have to know people to like them. Well, maybe that's why I like you so much. Night. Night. Hello, Nancy. Nursey. Ruth, Ruth, what's the matter? It's Broccoli. Come on out, Broccoli. Get back to your apartment. Somebody telephone headquarters. Hurry up. Better get away from there, copper, before someone gets hurt. Hey, what's cooking? Broccoli's in there. He's got Ruth. Well, let's go in and get it. Get away from that door. He's got a gun. Oh. Hey, fellas, let's go. We're coming out. Well, if you do, you better come shooting. Move over, Danny. I'm running up a pepper chat. 